Healthcare workers and families who lost loved ones to COVID-19 have endured some of the most difficult times over the past year. KCAU 9 reporter Mallory Smith shares their stories of how COVID-19 continues to affect them and other members of the Siouxland community. It's in our top story at 10. This year has been difficult for us all, whether it's figuring out how to log on to a Zoom call or applying for a new job after getting laid off. But today, I spoke with people who have lost family members to COVID-19 who allowed me to see the past year through their eyes. I don't know that, I don't know that I'll ever get over the fact that I lost her during this pandemic. Too. Cynthia Reconani lost her twin sister to COVID-19. She compared the tragic death to a few years back when she lost her mother to cancer and her dad to a heart attack. She says losing her twin was the hardest thing she's ever experienced. It's in your face every single day. Um, it's all people talk about. You know, you go to a store and you see someone not wearing a mask and it automatically triggers you. Next week will mark the one year anniversary of Unity Point Health St. Luke's first COVID-19 hospitalization, which was also when the hospital saw its first surge of patients. We are taking next week as a time of reflection. We're going to reflect on those patients that we lost and we're also going to reflect on those patients that we were able to send home to their families. While many lost jobs and time seeing loved ones, one Sulean mother says coronavirus also took something from her she can never get back, her son, LJ. I can't get my daily hugs. I can't go to his room door and see him sitting on his bed. I'm not able to go to any of his activities anymore. Nothing. We can't travel together. And both women tell us every day brings a new challenge. To have people think that this is, you know, called a pandemic or this is a hoax is, um, it hurts every day. My sister has a 10 year old son. Um, and to think that he might grow up people telling him that his mother didn't really die of COVID um, makes me really upset. 